Hi, my name is Alex, but I'm also known as Chibi Yuto, and welcome to another video review of Clamps Doujinshis. On this video, I'll be doing the review for Doujinshi number 10. It's a Doujinshi about Karura Mao, and, and this one right here. The name of this Doujinshi is Karura Bonodori. It's written right here, which means uh, Karura Festival or something like that. Uh, Karura Mao, it's a manga series that ran for 18 volumes uh, by a manga artist called Takakazu Nagabuku. Takakazu Nagabuku. It was a really long serialization. It started in 1986, uh, so two years before this was released. At first, it ran in a magazine called Monthly Halloween in a publisher called Asahi Sonoroma. But then in 1998, it moved to another magazine called Suspiria, uh, and also a different publisher. Uh, it's called the publisher was called Akita Shoten. Then in 2006, it moved again uh, to a magazine called Mystery Bonita, where I think it finished its publication there. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of information about this series. What I did learn is that is about these two. Uh, sisters who are actually twin sisters and they deal with uh, exorcism and uh, supernatural uh, stuff it's a pretty dark series apparently they have uh, two halves of the same power so they really uh, are codependent they really depend on each other to uh, deal with the cases and um, after learning more about it there are a lot of elements that it makes sense that Clamp would make a doujinshi about this. Uh, twins, uh, occultism, uh, supernatural stuff. I think we can safely tell one or two titles of Clamp or even more that have some of these elements. So even though it was a very long series, it just it, it ended in uh, only last year from what I could tell in 2018. But even though it was a really long, uh, I couldn't really find a lot of information about it. So I think it was a uh, very specific and very, uh, it wasn't really popular here in the West, but it was popular enough in Japan to get two anime adaptations. A movie in 1989, exactly the year that Clamp debuted as professional mangaka, and an OVA, which is apparently the sequel for the movie that was released on the following year, 1990. This was the shortest doujinshi release at the time, so we are up to number 10 and uh, this is the shortest with only 42 pages. So without further ado, here's the video review for it. This is the front cover. It was drawn by Tamayo Akiyama. This is the back cover. It was drawn by Mokona Apapa. Here it reads, uh, Clamp presents number 10 as Karura Bonodori. So it's uh, Doujinshi number 10. Here the spine is quite simple because it's, um, like I said, it's a very short uh, book. So there's, there isn't a lot of room left for the spine. The title is, uh, glossy and shiny <laughs> and that's about it it's a pretty simple uh, book it's much more simple than uh, Shoten for example I believe that they were putting all of their efforts from now on on Shoten so therefore the doujinshis that would be released in between uh, the Shoten uh, books will be less complex and less fancy and more simple because they would they would uh, invest more on the Shoten because it was their original doujinshis. Uh, there's a detail here in the corner of the cover, uh, it says clamp, so that's where it says. So here is the index. So we have a, a section called Yomi Mono, then illustrations, then Hyoshi, which is like uh, the credits. So here's the, here's where it says that Tamayo Akiyama draw drew the the front cover, Mokona drew the back cover, and Okawa made the the design. Okay. 
So this was released on October 23 of 1988. The first story, the story that opens the book is by Tamayo Akiyama. So I think this uh, this was meant to be um, colored. I'm not sure, but it looks like, you know, when they uh, made turn colored pictures into black and white. Uh, but I don't know, for some reason, it wasn't printed that way. I love the little mascot with the bloody eye. So again, this is probably parody. So it's a very, um, the original story is very dark and obscure, but Clem's take on it, in this case, would be more like a, a gag. Here we have uh, Mick Nikoi, this very short comic. And I just want to say that the index is, is probably wrong because the page numbers don't match the comic. So I had a really hard time figuring out. But uh, as you can see here, it says page 8. And then here, we, Mick Nikoi, we have on uh, page 10. So there's clearly a mistake. And that goes on and on for the upcoming stories as well. Uh, this illustration right here is from a guest artist, so it's not a clan member, and I can't read the kanji for their name. Then we have uh, Lisa Say, a uh, very short uh, comic, just two pages. Then Sena Nao, also very, very short, only those two pages. Then we have this illustration of the twins by Shinya Omi, which is a clamp member, a former clamp member. Then Okyon, with her very, very childlike uh, style. So just one page for Okyon. It's even written here, her name. Then this one is by a guest artist. It's uh, not a clamp member. This one is by Inoue Yuzuru which is a clamp member, a former clamp member, I mean. Uh, it takes two pages, so this one as well. And this one, it's not by a clamp member, so it's guest artist as well. Then it's here. Then back to Tamayo Akiyama. Two pages. I love how the mascots are all appearing and then in the end everyone is happy back to Mick Nikoi this one also very short just one page then we have this novel by Nanase Okawa and uh, Riza Se it's called uh, Koi no Korida so the the text is by Okawa and the illustrations by uh, Riza Se it takes th three pages. Uh, then we have Mokona Apapa closing the book. So she makes the final story. It's actually a trend that I've been noticing in their dojin. She's uh, Mokona and um, Tamayo, and sometimes even Lisa say they would uh, be, they are like the, the main artists. So they will always be the ones that opens either opens or closes the book uh, like the, with the main stories let's put it this way uh, then this uh, illustration is by a guest artist so it's not by a client member uh, this is the uh, Karura Do check it's uh, you know if you've been following my videos you know what this is so uh, depending how much points you make you are ranked and this time the ranks is not based on clan members like it was the previous time for the yaoi check uh these ones are probably characters from the 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 manga the karuda mao uh, manga but i don't know exactly then uh, we have this crossword puzzle which is also something that they typically do uh, we have an ad for Shoten Chu, so it's the same ad that we've seen on the previous uh, video review that I made. Uh, it would come out on December 25, Christmas Day, on that year. Then there's this ad for this Big Veda pamphlet, 
an imposter. Um, I've never heard of that. I've never seen that pamphlet before. I tried to look it up, uh, but I really couldn't uh, find anything about it. So it would be released. Uh, it was uh, released on uh, this date, uh, November 20. Um, says something about comic revolution. Uh, I don't know if it's an event or if it's a. I don't know, but um, uh, apparently it would come with a poster, and uh, the characters would be drawn by the the the, the clan members. Uh, each one responsible for drawing their their characters. The the, the characters they were in charge of. Uh, the layout and design would be Okawa. Uh, so. I I still have to know about this uh, what it is. It's not really a doujinshi, so they 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 are calling it a pamphlet and poster. If anyone knows anything about this, please let me know. Then we have this section called comments. Uh, it's from um, guest artists. I'm not sure if they are the ones that uh, made the comics for this for the guest artists that I showed. They probably are, but um, I would I would say yes, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so this is probably like people greeting Clamp and and, and saying hey, good work. Uh, then we have the traditional new section. The, the the page color change a little and the layout as well. It start with the staff page. So they were still um, 11 members at the time and as usual each member selected one character to represent themselves. So they were still 11. Then we have this, um, it's probably a report from um, Brigo Veda. Um, distribution or the, probably one of the events that they were uh, selling Rigo Veda. I don't know, it's a Rigo Veda related story, it seems. Okay. Uh, there's this corner called CM, which probably means commercial. And um, it's funny because there's a, I think it's a doujinshi by, it's called Zashiki Warashi, which just happens to be a name of the character from Holic as well, but it was, I know it's a very um, popular co a figure in uh, Japanese culture. Uh, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a name of a circle, a doujinshi circle, or a doujinshi itself. Uh, then there's another ad here that I don't know what it is. And two more stories as well, one related to Shotan, it seems. Uh, what's this? Okay, so more commercial or more um, advertisements for other doujinshi circles, other releases, uh, more stories from them and uh, the event schedule that they would appear. And that's it. I think it's a final message from Clamp and we're reaching the end with a see you again page drawn probably by Tamayo Akiyama or Mokona Apapa I don't know um, so that's it it's pretty quick pretty simple and very a uh, lot of lots of short stories but as I said they were probably really busy focusing on uh, the shots and works thanks for watching the video and if you've been following my video reviews Thank you big big time. Uh, I also have a website about Clamp in case you don't know. The address is chibiuto.com. I invite you all to visit. Until next time, bye!